Hi, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel, and today I'm speaking with Troy Beaujolais, who is the president and CEO of Murchison Minerals, ticker uh, MUR, on the TSX Venture Exchange. How are you today, Troy? Very well, Chris. I uh, appreciate, uh, appreciate being with you again today. So uh, Murchison is a Canadian-focused uh, exploration company. Why don't you just give us a quick overview of uh, the projects you have in your, in your stable? Yeah, you bet. So uh, two, two main projects, Chris, um, in, uh, in two of uh, Canada's uh, best and premier mining jurisdictions. So we have a uh, BMS project in Saskatchewan called the Brabant Mackenzie Project. Uh, that project has a um, inferred uh, and indicated resource on it. Um, it it's uh, 2.1 million tons um, with a zinc equivalent grade of 9.98% zinc. Um, that's in the indicated category um, and 7.6 million tons uh, with a zinc equivalent grade of 6.3% uh, um, in, in the uh, inferred category. Um, and so that's the, that's the VMS project. Uh, in Saskatchewan. Uh, and more recently, we've been focused on our HPM project um, in Quebec, and that's a battery metals project. It's a uh, nickel, copper, cobalt project uh, in the Manicouagan region uh, in Quebec. Uh, what I, sort of uh, you know, historical uh, information are you going on that you think you have a battery metals project? Yeah, so, so HPM um, is uh, it, it's an area that has all of the building blocks um, for a uh, camp scale uh, uh, nickel copper cobalt jurisdiction, um, right from you know differentiated in intrusives intruding into uh, a paranite sequence that are kind of loaded with sulfur. Um, you know the foundational building blocks from a geology perspective, from a geophysical perspective are all there um, and, and then you couple that um, with the with the recent results and, and the showings that are on the on the property right now um, and you know it has us really excited moving forward so there's a there's a historic uh, showing on on the on the project called bar defer or iron bar um, in 2008, there's about 25 drill holes put into that, uh, showing, um, you know, the best results uh, from that program would have been about 43 meters of 1.74% um, uh, nickel, 0.9% uh, copper, uh, and 0.09% cobalt. And that, that showing itself remains open. Um, and, and then there's multiple other EM conductors um, and, uh, and prospects on the property itself. And that led us into um, this fall, uh, kicking off our inaugural drill program at HPM. The inaugural drill program focused on the PYC target. And the PYC target is a you know, 1.9 kilometer long uh, EM uh, conductor uh, that also has been prospected, you know, so it's subcrop outcrops um, and we got in there and prospected the, the anomaly um, and, and defined um, through surface sampling, backpack drilling and beat map uh, pros prospecting, defined that conductivity over 1.9 uh, uh, kilometers, 1.95 kilometers and picked up um, significant sulfur or uh, sulfide mineralization along that occurrence. So that led us into a drill program. Uh, we drilled eight drill holes um, and, and intersected mineralization um, that range from disseminated sulfide mineralization into net breach and massive sulfides um, in all eight of those holes. And we're currently um, waiting on assay results uh, to be returned from that inaugural drill program. Yeah, you, you seem to be uh, very similar to a lot of other companies I've been talking with who are still waiting on on drill results uh, and, and are doing, uh, you know, having to do other type of office work in the meantime while, while they wait. Um, there was some uh, pretty exciting news about the land package surrounding that project um, that I think is quite significant when you're talking about a district scale package. Uh, what can you tell us about that, the, the recent uh, land acquisition? Yeah, you bet. Uh, so uh, on the heels right before we uh, finished uh, the inaugural drill program, uh, we increased our land package at HPM uh, by 4X. Uh, so we quadrupled the land package. We went from 139 square kilometers to over 580 uh, square kilometers of mineral tenements in the area. And, it, you know, it, it's, it's, it has us in a very, with a very strategic um, and dominant uh, land position in the HPM area, um, in an area that um, 
we feel very strongly um, is in emerging uh, battery metals jurisdiction in Canada. And has any work been done on that other project? Are there sort of the other part of the land package? Yeah, so some historic work, uh, but but really, um, r really very little. So there's regional geophysics, et cetera, that, you know, some of the surveys have flown over the years. Um, what our plans are for 2022 is uh, we, we've had very good success um, in going from, you know, in our exploration approach at HPM, and, it, and it, it's proven to be uh, a, a high probability exploration approach. And that really starts with the VTEM survey. Um, and so we'll update, uh, we'll fly the entire package uh, with a VTEM survey this spring. Um, from there, the conductive anomalies that we identify, uh, we will get onto the ground and we'll prospect those. Um, you, you know, we're fortunate to have a high degree of outcrop in the area. So we'll hit the ground um, with prospecting crews, uh, traditional beat mat uh, work um, and backpack drilling. So it gives us the ability to ground truth um, and confirm the conductivity on the ground um, and, and then sample uh, the anomalies. And then from there, from the prospecting uh, and, the, and the VTEM work this spring, um, we will also then uh, be conducting another follow-up diamond drill program uh, starting in the summer, throughout the summer months. So as investors, what are the three key uh, catalysts that they can look forward to over the next couple of months? Yeah, in the very near term, we're expecting um, assay results to come in uh, from the PYC drilling. Um, you know, that that's, you know, towards the end of this month and, and, and through February um, is when we're expecting those results. Uh, that'll be a key catalyst in the near term. Um, and, and then the kickoff of the exploration program spring 2022, 20, uh, uh, which starts with the VTEM survey and then follows into prospecting and diamond drilling uh, throughout the summer. Well, that sounds like a lot to look forward to as an investor. Yeah, no, it's it's exciting times um, for us, Chris. Um, and, and, you know, we, we, we expect that 2022, to it is going to be a material year uh, for Murchison Minerals. That's great. Well, thanks, uh, Troy. I was speaking with Troy Beaujolais, who is the president and CEO of Murchison Minerals. Ticker symbol is MUR on the TSX Venture Exchange. Thanks for your time today, Troy. Thank you very much, Chris. Thanks for having me.